Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. Today, John Coleman and I get to speak with our favorite medical doctor, Dr. Liz. Hi, Dr. Liz. Hello. Good to see you again, Dr. Liz. I have a, a question for you that is part drug-related, part anti-aging-related, mm. part... I don't know what related, and it it, it it's, re, you know, when you get to my age, you, everybody's taking a lot of drugs. Mm. <laughs> so one of the most common drugs that I keep hearing about is metformin. Yeah. Um, but recently, I, I, I don't know if it was you or somebody else said that it's got an anti-aging um, element to it or something like that. So is this new, uh, that metformin, which is, is now for anti-aging somehow? Explain, yes. please. Yes, absolutely. Metformin's an interesting drug. It's been around for many decades. It's, a, it's now a very old-fashioned drug for diabetes. So it was discovered in the 1940s in the search for anti-malarial drugs, and it was observed to lower blood sugar. So then it got to be about the late 1950s when it was first used by a French doctor to treat diabetes. It's now become first-line treatment for most people once they're diagnosed with diabetes. It's a very, very commonly prescribed drug. And then I would say probably in the last couple of decades, it's been studied and shown to be, have an anti-aging effect. All right, it's shown in animal studies to uh, extend life expectancy, right? So first the observation, and now they are continuing to research it to find out why. Hmm. That is absolutely fascinating. Of course, I think that's the history of most drugs. They, that's right. Right? They, they find it for something, and then they find it can do something else. That's right. And then all of a sudden, they forget about the original purpose. That's right. And then they find something else on top of that. That's which right. Which is, you know, the wonder of, of, of the pharmaceutical industry anyway. Indeed. Um, Viagra, Viagra is the classic example of that process. Yeah. <laughs> we can talk about that another time. <laughs> No, 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 no. So you're teasing us here, but what was Viagra first used for? Blood pressure, to lower blood pressure. It was being researched. Ah, okay. And we'll it take that for now. Let's make that. It was found to have interesting side effects. So we could say that for the, another yeah. day. Yeah, we'll, we'll, lay, we'll do a whole, uh, sub, uh, whole uh, episode on blue and yellow. Very well. Okay. <laughs> but so let's get back then. to that. Let's get back to anti-aging because we, yeah. in the last uh, six weeks or so, we've talked about anti-aging coming at the subject from a bunch of different aspects. Right. And of course, for celebrating Act Two, those of us over fifty, anti-aging is kind of an important topic, you know. Indeed. Um, so let's. How does metformin attack anti-aging? What? How does it work? The theory is that it is doing that through its ability to lower blood sugar. So how does it lower blood sugar? It appears to improve our body's ability to respond to sugar. And what that means is our insulin response. Okay, I believe we've talked about insulin resistance, but mm -hmm. I'll say for right now that being, we, intake, we have intake of sugar, our body releases insulin to process the sugar. And if we get too much sugar in the system, or we have diabetes or even pre-diabetes, our body becomes resistant to that insulin. So metformin helps with that process and it helps reverse that. It also appears to have an antioxidant effect. We've talked about that. And it also directly appears to improve the health of blood vessels. Interesting, wow. So it, it uh, and the, I guess these, would be considered side effects from its original purpose. Exactly. But, but is anybody prescribing metformin for these other, quote, side effects now? Yes. Yes, they sure really? are. It's really got a, it's got a pretty stable foothold in the anti-aging medicine world. Hmm. Uh, it's been shown in animal models to slow down aging, and it also slows down the development of neurodegenerative diseases, and it also is wow. finding in animal models to lower incidence of cancers. Wow. Wow. So definitely getting ongoing attention uh, around the world. 
It's also, there's another interesting health condition that it's shown to help with, and that's polycystic ovary disease or polycystic ovary syndrome in women who have, they may have infertility, they may have irregular menstrual cycles, uh, that is, and it responds to metformin. The whole condition responds to improving the insulin uh, sensitivity of the body. Isn't that interesting? And is it, and yeah. is it called uh, when, uh, I don't know how widely it's known in the medical community, uh, but is it uh, to be able to treat things other than uh, diabetes or prediabetes? Uh, how, how is it being uh, a, a normal kind of thing that uh, doctors now will prescribe for these things? And if so, do they call it something else? Because it seems to me that uh, that's going to raise the price because it has these magic <laughs> elixir uh, 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 effects on these other diseases. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I like the fact that it's been around so long. There are many generics that's, that work just as well. They're, they're coming up, they do different formulations. They make it into a sustained release. So to your point, Art, mm -hmm. that's what the companies do in order to try to keep up their patents. But it is used in a few different settings. Polycystic ovary syndrome is one. Fertility, okay, it's been shown in women with polycystic ovary syndrome that it improves fertility and also reduces the incidence of miscarriage. So these yeah. women are put on the metformin and then they need to stay on it and it's safe during pregnancy. Mm -hmm. So they stay on it, it lowers the chance of miscarrying and then they end up with a successful pregnancy. Wow. Another, another one that I came across that I liked is that it's often prescribed along with antipsychotic medications. Those prescriptions are increasing. People are being put on mood stabilizers, other, not, you know, you think of someone psychotic, like from the movies, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who have, they're diagnosed with psychiatric illness. It might be more mild, but they're put on the same medications, several of which cause weight gain. And if they're put on metformin, it seems to uh, mitigate the weight gain that they experience with those other drugs. Oh. Wow. So uh, this is, uh, now it's not yet considered a miracle drug just because it has all these side effects, or is it? It, it is widely, it, it is increasing in popularity. As I said, it definitely has a foothold in the anti-aging world. The main side effects and people who are listening who have used metformin may have experienced this. Mm -hmm. Most people on metformin feel fine. And they, they don't have any of, you know, the package insert comes with the laundry list of side effects. Sure. Most people who use metformin do not experience those side effects. When they do, the most common one is gut. They might feel a little bit nauseous. They might uh, have a little bit looser bowel, okay? And often the impact of that is people eat less if they don't feel 100%, then they, if they feel just the touch a little bit queasy, a lot of people just simply find, number one, that they get used to that and they don't experience it anymore, but mm. it has the secondary effect of having people eat less. And therefore they might lose some weight. Correct. Yeah. So but, it's probably but, one of the ways that it helps. But I'm going to get, but I'm going to guess that they, they don't prescribe it as an anti-malarial drug anymore. Nope. <laughs> okay. Not really. There's better ones for malaria. Yeah. <laughs> what the bottom line is with metformin, to my mind, with lowering cancer, lowering dementia, sure. of course, lowering diabetes, is that sugar and too much sugar mm. is really, really a major problem in our world today. And metformin is probably going to come out. It's it's hanging, it's hanging in there. Mm, yeah. And uh, even though it's not a sexy new drug been around a long time it is gaining in popularity for the anti-aging purpose wow. yeah and of course like any drug um as you mentioned it comes with a you know that little paper that's folded up so thick uh but you roll it out it's about six feet long and it's got all the side effects you should look for with any drug you need to know what the side effects are right, right. and it's interacting with and it's interacting with other drugs affect you yeah absolutely yeah Okay, so for all of you uh, spring chickens out there who don't have a damn thing wrong with you, okay, <laughs> but you, you know, trying to slow down the aging process, uh, go bother your doctor and ask them about uh, metformin. 
For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.